Hi, good afternoon. I'm going to get everyone up on stage. Thank you all for being here. We appreciate you taking the time. So good afternoon, and thank you for joining us today. I'm Katherine Luger, President and CEO of the American Beverage Association. And I'm really proud to be here on behalf of America's non-alcoholic beverage industry as we join together for this important commitment. I think you all know that America's leading beverage companies have long been at the forefront of some of our nation's most effective sustainability efforts. From lightweighting containers, developing 100% recyclable bottles, reducing greenhouse gas emissions, and overall energy and water usage, we take our responsibility to our planet seriously. And so do our consumers. They want to feel good about the beverages they enjoy, but they are rightfully frustrated when they see our bottles in oceans, rivers, or beaches. We agree. That's why we're here today to announce that the Coca-Cola Company, Keurig Dr. Pepper, and PepsiCo, in partnership with the preeminent leaders in the environmental and sustainability space, the World Wildlife Fund, Closed Loop Partners, and the Recycling Partnership, are coming together to develop a more circular system in it for our bottles. Together, our mission is to use less new plastic and to increase collection of our valuable bottles. We call it every bottle back. What you may not know is that we are already making 100% recyclable bottles. Our bottles are intentionally made to be remade. Simply put, every bottle we get back can be made into a new bottle. The efforts we're announcing today will increase the flow of recycled plastic by eliminating waste from the waste stream and reducing our industry's need for new plastic. Every Bottle Back is the next step in our industry's journey to deliver meaningful solutions to societal challenges, especially the environment. We've brought together an unprecedented coalition with leaders who have the ability to inspire action at every step in the life cycle of a plastic bottle. Protecting the environment is a serious issue, and we are just as serious about our commitment. Let me take you through the components of the initiative. First, we're announcing a partnership with one of the leading voices on issues impacting the environment, the World Wildlife Fund. Working together, they will help us achieve our commitment to use less new plastic with data-driven solutions and measure our progress with transparency. Our partnership will ensure that we're making the biggest difference possible, driving results and hopefully serving as a model for others. Second, we're coming together across industry with a laser focus to reclaim our plastic bottles so that they can be remade into new bottles, reducing our use of new plastic. To get every bottle back, our industry is marshalling the equivalent of nearly half a billion dollars to improve the quality and availability of recycled plastic by establishing a new industry fund with the Recycling Partnership and Closed Loop Partners, two cutting edge organizations who are dedicated to improving the circular economy. With these resources, together, we will create stronger recycling infrastructure in four key regions of the country, modernizing the technology of recycling facilities and providing greater access to recycling collection at home. And I'm thrilled they're here with us today. I want to personally thank Keith Harrison, the Chief Executive Officer of the Recycling Partnership, and Ron Gonan, the CEO of Closed Loop Partners, for their leadership on this important issue. Let's be clear. Our recycling system needs big improvements, so consumers know that their efforts will make a difference. Together, in these communities, we'll modernize technology and infrastructure, boost collection rates, and work hand in glove with local governments to close the gaps in our circular economy. And finally, we're going to leverage our packaging to inform consumers that our bottles are 100% recyclable. And when we get them back, we can make them into new bottles. The leading bever beverage companies will introduce a clear and uniform message on package beginning in 2020. This reinforces that we truly are committed to supporting and motivating consumers in their efforts to recycle. All of the efforts we announced today will be supported by a public awareness campaign 
to remind consumers that our plastic bottles were never intended to be single use. They are being designed intentionally to being fully recyclable. This is a long-term and a sustained initiative that will ensure that our bottles end up back on shelves and not as litter or in landfills or in waterways. With that, it is my great privilege to introduce Sheila Bonini from the World Wildlife Fund and then the industry leaders who together are making a strong commitment that will have a meaningful and lasting impact on the environment. Sheila. Thank you. Thank you, Catherine. It's great to be here. I'm Sheila Bonini. I lead um, private sector engagement at World Wildlife Fund here in the US. Um, World Wildlife Fund is the largest global conservation organization, and our mission is to protect the future of nature and the diversity of life on Earth. Um, and plastic is an issue that really touches many of our priority areas from wildlife, and many of you have seen pictures of entangled turtles, um, which is close to my heart, uh, but also the pollution to our rivers and our oceans. So it has grown to be a crisis. It's a crisis because the system that should be circular isn't, it's broken. Um, we uh, at WWF, our goal is to have no plastics into nature by 2030. Um, plastics has many uses and it can uh, lead to some very good environmental uh, benefits, but we really shouldn't have plastic in nature. Um, and that, I think, is part of the key goal of driving a circular economy. Um, we do believe that to achieve no plastic in nature, there's no single solution. Uh, and it also needs to engage everybody. Uh, that's individuals, that's businesses, that's cities, and that's governments. Um, and we need to think about the problem holistically in order to drive the system change that's necessary. We believe the private sector is particularly important, um, one of the critical levers for the success of us driving a circular economy. They shape the sourcing, the design, and they can influence the collection and the reuse of plastic. Um, and we know that as few as 100 companies uh, have the potential to prevent approximately 10 million metric tons of plastic from entering, uh, plastic waste from entering nature. Um, we think that working together we can achieve three times that. Um, so really uh, significant action can happen if business works together to drive this, but only if it's done right. Um, so that's why we've developed a platform we call Resource, which is our hub for um, business act activation around plastics. Because companies need a roadmap to fix this broken system. So they need to have the right tools to make sure that their ambitions drive to the implementation and the impact we need to see. Um, Resource is a science-based activation hub that help companies figure out if they're on the right path um, and measure credibly that they, they're having the impact that they need to have. It has really three pieces. It's really helping companies figure out and prioritize the key solutions that are gonna drive the biggest impact. And it's got a science-based measurement um, action, which is to develop a footprint tracker, which will hold companies accountable for the impact that we need to see. And then finally, it's a bringing together of companies across industries and across um, sectors to drive the change we need. So it gives us this holistic view that enables the innovation and the co-creation and co-investment in solutions. Um, that brings us here to our ABA partnership, um, which I want to underscore how important it is uh, for companies to get together with their competitors and to come together across industries to fix the broken, broken system. What ABA is doing with Every Bottle Back initiative addresses a part of the issue. It's really focused on the US, on PET, and on recycling. Um, and we're thrilled that resource our platform can serve as the goalposts for this initiative to ensure that it's really going to drive meaningful impact where we need it. Um, but we know to achieve no plastic in nature, we need more than just to focus on PET and on recycling. We need to fix all that is broken and all of the pieces to achieve a circular economy, which is why we're also thankful for those on Capitol Hill and the agencies working towards systemic solutions to the plastic waste issue. 
We need strong leadership and policies in place to enable the shift that we need to see um, in how we use plastic and how we get it back. So as we look towards our no plastics in nature um, by 2030, we need to galvanize all stakeholders. So we need to see businesses working together with individuals, with governments, with cities to drive the change that we need to see at a system level. And we need to see programs like Every Bottle Back that send the signal that collaboration across an industry with your competitors is possible and necessary to drive the change we need. So thank you very much. Wonderful. Thank you, Sheila. I'm now going to welcome Jim Dinkins, president of Coca-Cola North America. Jim. Thank you, Catherine. I'm proud to be here on behalf of the Coca-Cola system and join my industry colleagues in announcing this important initiative. The beverage industry cares about our oceans and waterways, and we agree there's a sense of urgency about plastic pollution in our environment. That's why we're coming together to make reducing new or virgin plastic a top priority. We know that we must look at it differently, at the way we use plastic, the way we get it back, and the way it is directed for reuse in our bottles. For years now, our industry has been introducing innovative ways to reduce the environmental impact of our packaging, including designing our bottles with valuable recyclable materials like PET. This work has made our bottles uniquely valuable because they are intended for reuse and are not designed to wind up in landfills or our waterways. But we, must, we know we must do more as an industry if we want to get more of our bottles back. And that's why we're here. And make no mistake about it, we are fierce competitors. But as an industry, we are leveraging our combined resources, expertise, creativity, and strength as innovators to change the way we think about and use plastic. By working together, we're confident that we'll be able to do much more to address the serious societal challenge by investing in solutions that will help ensure that our bottles have multiple lives so that we can reduce our need for new plastic. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. I'd now like to welcome up thank Eric you. Hopkins, Chief Commercial Officer of Keurig Dr. Pepper. Well, thank you all for being here today. I'm uh, certainly proud to represent Keurig Dr. Pepper alongside my colleagues under the leadership of the American Beverage Association to launch this important and exciting new initiative. By coming together for every bottle back, we have a, uniquely, a unique opportunity to leverage the power of the three leading beverage companies to implement a truly systemic change to the way that we handle plastic. The bottles our companies produce have been carefully designed with a valuable and reusable plastic that when properly collected and recycled can be reused into new bottles. Ultimately, this reduces waste and reduces the need for new plastic. We are here today because we recognize the urgent need to work together by improving the way our bottles come back to us. Our companies have made strong commitments to reduce our plastic footprints. This initiative will strengthen our efforts to increase consumer recycling and improve the infrastructure to support a more circular economy. And, we've and we have partnered with three of the leading environmental organizations to ensure our work together in this critical area is optimal and impactful. Every bottle back is a meaningful commitment from three of America's most competitive and iconic companies to improve plastic recycling. This is an important collective first step in a journey to a more sustainable future for our industry, our customers, and our environment. Thank you very much. Wonderful, thank you, Derek. And finally, I'd like to welcome Kirk Tanner, <coughs> Chief Executive Officer of PepsiCo Beverages, North America. Good afternoon. Nice. Okay, all right. I am uh, I'm pleased to be here representing PepsiCo Beverages, North America, and all my colleagues. But I'm really inspired to be here uh, with our competitors, but as an associate, as one beverage industry, it's, it's a powerful idea, and I am totally inspired by this opportunity to work together. And I think it all starts with increasing the amount of recycled plastic available. And that requires companies, it requires governments, and it requires nonprofit organizations to work together to improve the infrastructure, the processes, and drive the awareness. We have a tremendous opportunity to leverage our marketing reach and our platforms to build consumer awareness 
about value, about the value of our bottles and the importance of recycling, recycling them. Our brands have great reach and can be a big part of helping in this cause. Alongside respected environmental partners like World Wildlife Fund, Closed Loop Partners, and the Recycling Partnership, we can play a significant role in changing the way society makes, uses, and reuses plastic packaging. We have our own company-specific commitments, of course, related to 100% recycling um, solutions in addition to things outside the bottle. I think we're all doing very well in that regard, but every bottle back really makes an impact. It represents this new ambitious step that we can take as an industry to get more plastic bottles so that we can be, they can be re remade into new bottles. Putting competition aside, and leveraging collective ingenuity, innovation, reach, and resources to address this issue head-on gives me the most optimism. Thank you very much.